Truth is something we seek for throughout our entire lives. On that path of our lives, we're looking for truth and we see lies and everything. We're smart. We're smart enough to see the lies most of the time, right? I want to talk about something really serious. You've seen this before. It's the part of the UFO on the surface of the moon, but looks like it's either firing itself on the surface or the surface is firing um, the object. We see smokes appearing around it and massive fire, of course, and you can see it in slow motion there. Often I show these and I run through it. I pass it two minutes, maybe a minute. The fun part is I can look back in my research and try and understand what the hell I'm looking at. This object that either comes out of the crater or illuminates over the crater is for a reason. If he's charging up, for example, here, let me bring the light even lower. I mean, like it's almost off and you can still see that UFO and a light at the same time simultaneously in there, poof, literally like there's fighting going on. So now this is scaring me. Remember this one when I showed you that mysterious shadowy arm that rises up off of the surface? First of all, this, these two UFOs are illuminating the surface incredibly. This is in slow motion and it's just, there it is, sunrise, right? But that arm that lifts off the surface, I'm starting to say we have many scenarios. It could be a door, some people say it's coming out. But this object could be people, uh, the moon people, hear me out, um, firing at this UFO, at the lights, or it's themselves on the surface fighting amongst themselves, a war. A lot of people are saying, well, the planets are being liberated, planets are being liberated. I, I actually thought nothing of that. I was like, wow. I mean, it's like, how could somebody know that? That's a bit, you know, it's a bit far-fetched, you know. I mean, I need visual proof, and here people are talking about entities and different types and uh, uh, the draconians and this and that, but still, it'd be pretty cool to see the videos. But people are overlooking research like this. Obviously, no idiot like me posts this on YouTube. He would have gone directly higher up. I don't want to. I want to show the people what we're looking at. If I go higher up, probably be controlled right without uh, being vain at all i like seeing it like this because th and, and there's one of them and over to the left another one so again i'm showing more than two of the objects with that mysterious shadowy arm that rises up off the surface so one over on the right that comes down and it when i say comes down well it looks like it's going into the a moon which would be odd so that's another reason why i said there's probably an atmosphere like you know we look at the surface of the moon and we say ah well there it is wow look we can see the surface of nothing no we're looking at um clearings between clouds most likely and we're looking at the surface from very far you know disturbances obviously between both earth and the moon Maybe I was not necessarily naive, but very wishful thinking and trying to be positive, saying, no, nah, war's over, Hitler's dead, no more concentration camps, no more death, everything's good. But now, as Nostradamus said, 2022, biological attacks. Check it out. So could that object have just shot at that UFO and that's why the UFO descended under the hazes? And it's a moment of seeing an actual event on the moon of uh, of war because i don't have ten thousand videos of this but i have five or six um major things like there it is it's just something that doesn't happen right you don't see that in the image and guess what you see how i'm only partly on the moon again i've been saying that those of you following me since the beginning you know it for the sixth year now starting i always film off of the moon if you want to get those objects if not, it's near impossible to see them. So how about those flashes with the infrared camera when you're out in space? Like like this one, for example. Uh, like spontaneously, boom, you see all these lights and you actually see that it's something that was shot at maybe. The light's right over top, a bit further away. It's probably the object that could have shot it. And on top, top, top is a star, but I'm talking just over those three bottom objects. There's a dot there. 
everything lights up simultaneously. I'll show you the live footage. It's pretty cool because you can see them bending behind it. It's They're turning. It's something spiraling or something. Maybe it's debris. Could be debris too, you know. I'm, I'm not saying it's always UFOs. I'm actually starting to say, woof. You know, there's humans in this. We got to watch the flash. There you go. It's pretty cool. Look at them all at the same time. And you can see the lines like they're moving, like they were shot at, you know. This one, I never showed it this way. Uh, I'm starting to look through the UFO videos. Look at the objects on the surface. You know exactly where we are on the moon, if you want to know. I mean, this is the real surface of the moon. And we can see UFOs on the surface. What are UFOs? Well, they're lights. These are UAP, UAPs, right? Un unidentified aerial phenomena. Definitely, definitely, sorry, not lunar transient phenomena. These objects are coming in hot, eh? So maybe that's why we're seeing the lights light up in the background because it's actually a launch on the surface of a missile or something like that. That's pretty scary, actually. It actually scares the hell out of me to think that that could be possible. And again, I'm off of the moon. I'd never see this, you know? There it is, lifts up, and that light going by. And what scares me is there's more than one light. So it's not just a, a coincidence. And you know, I've been able to show not millions, but wow, maybe 20 or 30 times that lights moved around the surface, maybe a bit more actually, and even the UFO fleet. So there it is going under the hazes. So you're like, what the hell can this be? I showed it in yesterday's video too, if I'm not mistaken, but I this is my research when, when i find something out and when i'm doing research or I have a new theory it's what i'm doing all day long today i was studying this this image it's absolutely incredible you know when you think of it seeing that arm lift up off of the surface and this is uh, the actual east side of the moon so it's the right side of the moon the very right edge seen here from montreal and it's flipped over around so we can see it properly so if you want check it out Look, this is the actual side and way that I saw it with the camera. Check it out. Wow, guys, maybe it's a UFO crash. Watch the shadow on top, like a big-ass shadow. There are the lights approaching the edge. Another light. Whoop, you see that? Maybe it's a crash. And look underneath, the light gets brighter and brighter. There's more coming. I mean, they're going to the moon. There's some friggin' being that is on the moon. If not, it's something spiritual, something very heavenly that we shouldn't have seen. There it is again, movement on the surface. And that is the right side, the real side, the, right, the way I saw it approaching the moon in the camera, just offset of the surface, um, I mean, of the sphere to be able to capture it. Because if you're filming the whole moon, obviously the refraction gets it. And there you see it lifting up off the surface towards the lights. So in theory... Right? This is what I do here. This is what everyone does, by the way. Science is a theory. But it's definitely something. And look at the more lights in the back coming. And it's scary. So in other words, they, they could be coming from the dark side, coming to this side of the moon. Didn't the supposed astronauts that went say they saw lights on the surface, mysterious lights? And then there's the mention of the transient lunar phenomenon. Yeah, right. Now let me show it to you in a way where it looks like it's being launched. See? The object was just launched from the surface. They're launching UFOs from the surface. And now it's going to crash. So it's uh, launches and projectiles being launched on the surface, whatever they may be. There it is. Watch. Lifts up. Whoop. Watch. Whoop. The light. What do you think of that? Then I'll let it play. It'll scare the shit out of you. I'm not kidding. There it is. The arm went up. What happens? Light comes down and it goes on the surface. They're fighting now. They're fighting on the friggin' moon literally fighting on the moon i showed it to you many different ways this time if people you know this if you got a phone <laughs> and you can't see well what do you want me to say you know there it is launched from the surface let's look at it two or three times see how that arm comes up now it goes straight through it right go there's one there watch the launch the light, it lands. Straight up, launch from the surface. There's that arm that comes up. If you don't see it, it's because you got a phone or a small image. Well, when you get home, look on your computer. There it is. That's the, that's the other one here. It cuts. So now let's start. Light lights up. 
weird. Oop, an arm comes up. It's it's fat. Oop, a light comes down to the surface and plunges under the atmosphere. There's your proof. Literally on the surface. So I hope you appreciate that, my friends, and I know you do. And I love you all for the amazing support that you give this channel. You all know that uh, they're suppressing many people on YouTube now and everyone, so truth is hard to come by. Got to open your eyes, your ears, listen, look, learn, and love. See you soon, everybody. Thanks again. <laughs> Doesn't matter cause the slow's just coming soon. The slow's just coming soon.